My name's Guy Kesteven. I've been a professional mountain biking kit tester for over 25 years. And this is a tech talk through on Kotick's brand new Jet V2 to go with the live ride review, which you've hopefully already watched to get you into the mood of this really distinctive, but properly deliciously different, yet super capable uh, all round trail bike. And because I can't be trusted to get the stats right necessarily, uh, I've got Cy himself here to talk us through it. So, Cy, what are we looking at here? Uh, so, Jet Gen 2, um, evolution, not revolution with this one, um, because it sits real nicely in the range with the Flare Max, which is our kind of down country sort of short travel trail bike, and then you've got the Rocket Max at the other end of the range. Um, so sort of going slacker or longer or all of these kind of different things was never going to really be a one. It felt it really hit a sweet spot for a lot of riders as their kind of one bike to rule them all. Um, so for this one, head angle's the same, uh, rear centre's the same. And uh, so, you know, the overall handling feel we've sort of carried over from the other bike. Drop the bottom bracket a little bit. Um, which gives it a little bit more of a feeling of security in the corners. And, yeah, you can uh, really pick that up in the ride as well. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, so it's a little bit lower in the bottom bracket, which sort of sits you a bit more middle of the bike. Um, we've got C-sizing, which is the biggest difference, I suppose, which is our five-step sizing regime. Um, so the small, smallest size C1 is about the same, is the same as the old uh, Jet, um, and the C5 is a tiny bit longer than the old XL, um, but there's now three sizes in the middle instead of just two, like shorter jumps between sizes, lower seat tubes, more standover, um, that kind of thing. We've also got uh, size specific seat angles on the st uh, steeper seat angles on the bigger sizes. So basically it will just fit you better. And, yeah, it's and proportionally more... and then more regular jumps yeah. between sizes. Yeah, yeah. So it's easier to yeah. find your perfect fit and it'll fit you better once you do. Um, these ones are UK made as well, which is made, means that our whole drop link made, range is now made by Five Land Bikes up in Scotland. Um, so uh, yeah, that they're responsible for these beautiful welds and these uh, this beautiful beautiful finishing. Um, so that's... what other colours have we got besides? I mean, what what colour is this called? Uh, this is crimson. Fair enough. And, it's crimson. But uh, the so... other colour is sage, um, which is kind of like um like Land Rover Defender green. Oh nice. Kind of like a like a real kind of nice nice lovely green color and that's got black graphics. That's got a really different feel to this one. Is that a matte or a gloss? Matte. Oh, so military spec. Yeah. Yeah, not 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 olive though. It's like quite a light yeah. green. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a really yeah, kind of that Land Rover heritage kind of color. Yeah. Um so yeah, that's uh, that's the other color. Um, the kinematics a bit different. We've now got sort of size specific kinematics, so they get they get a little bit more progressive as the bike gets bigger, which gives you a little bit more sensitivity and support as you uh, as you put more pressure in the shock uh, for heavier riders. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. Like I say, it's small changes that add up to um, just a like a really nicely improved package. But overall, we didn't want to make too drastic drastic a change because it's been our biggest selling drop link bike yeah. it really did it have the bracing pipe across the bottom before no, it didn't it had the it had the gussets before so yeah it did have reinforcement at that point um but we've gone to the brace pipe now. and it had the heavier duty yoke in the back didn't yeah, it, it did yeah yeah it yeah. had that off the rocket before yes because that's yeah. what gave it a lot kind of hench down by the bottom bracket yeah yeah. And now it's got a plain gauge down tube as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the the um, the HD down tube that we've uh, sort of learned from the other bikes, which is uh, stiffer where it needs to be and, and you know more durable under shock loads. Yeah, um, because you've got the shock load right in the centre of the that's pipe it. there. So yeah, I guess it. I guess it's a fairly consistent loading. Yeah. All along the tube, but you still got super easy to service external cable routing. None of that horrible headset nonsense going on here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you can really see the. I think you can see the. Has the oval form become more pronounced? No, it's just because of the gloss. It's just yeah, quite, it really. Just, you can really, really obvious, bring it out it? there. Yeah, and then you've got bottle cage mounts there, and then bottle cage mounts under the belly as well. Yep. Yeah. So uh, and these 
These are smoother as well, aren't yes, they, these yeah, days? We've, That's we've, the, we've those been, are your RideWorks linkages, correct? That's right, yeah. So we've now got, like, just... We've just smoothed off the edges of the machine parts just so they... They just uh, so yeah. The all, the, all the bolt works just a little bit tidier as well, isn't it? Yeah. I mean that's just glorious that section there, isn't it? That is lovely. Just trying to uh, trying to be a little bit better every day. <laughs> <laughs> is that written on the calendar with kittens on it as well? So yeah, I mean this is this is silver. Sorry, no, this is gold XT spec. Yes, yeah, so this is the gold with build hope. with upgraded hope brakes and an upgraded hope stem. It does come with the hope wheels as standard. So the XT, so the gold, um, so the gold build XT is five six nine nine, um, and then there's another couple of hundred quid's worth. Oh, of hope we just brakes. let that sink in? That's for a bike that's built in Scotland. Yeah, UK made premium steel, you uh, frame. XT drivetrain, hope bits. Lots of hope bits. Lots of hope bits. In whatever colour you want? Uh, no, it's uh, no, just the two colours. Ah, okay, right, colors, fair enough. Right, right okay. Custom colours, but, but oh, oh, the hope, oh, the hope, yeah, the hope, oh, yeah, the hope, oh, yeah, the hope bits, whatever colour. Right, you want. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant the frame. No, no, no. Sorry. No. Um, so, uh, yes. for five six nine nine. Yeah, five six nine nine, and then the brake that would be with XT brakes. And um, that's with Lyric Ultimate and Super Deluxe Ultimate shock. Yes, Ultimate suspension, no hiding, uh, no hiding cheap dampers in fancy pipes with us. Um, yeah, I mean that's fair play, mate. I mean, I guess you are direct sell in yeah. a way, but in a very friendly sort of community based way, I yeah, would say. Yeah, it's um, and. I don't know. The pricing thing's a funny thing because some some brands have gone like this, some brands have gone like that. I mean, who, who knows? And everybody's just gone ah! <laughs> yeah. at the moment. But I mean, I, I think th this bike does re represent some like incredible value for what you get. I think where we struggle as a smaller brand, I would say, is that like the the bronze build on this, which is full SLX, Dior brakes, Shimano wheels, tubeless tires, you know, solid finishing kit, all of that, and. Um, you know the um, the more basic suspension that's three nine 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 so you know we're not you know there's that at that end of the market that's where you know uh, us as a small brand you know we can't sort of quite reach yeah i mean presumably that's just a volume thing isn't it yeah it's a volume thing and the fact that it's you know other brands make their frame quality and yeah. uh, material worse as they go down the that's when you start getting it out of the box and it's covered and it's just wrapped in cardboard with bits of masking tape yeah so and it's, and it's banged together in yeah. cambodia yeah so whereas this one still gets the same uk made 853 frame yeah i mean that's like all the way that's down. a proper so that's a proper prestige frame mm, yeah that's I, I mean, it's just, it's very rare, and there aren't many of those being made, are there? No, no. I mean, it's basically us and um, now it's basically us and Orange making bikes in the UK. You know, making frames in the UK. Yeah. Um, so yeah, certainly full suspension anyway. First full suspension, yeah. So uh, uh, you know, in any kind of volume, obviously there's plenty of other like sort of uh, you know smaller brands, but for you know, for, yeah, and with your heritage. And your evolution behind it. You know, this is not your first radio. It's only the no. second jet. No, but, but it's, it's like... kind of this fell into the gap that kind of peeled apart between Flare Max and Rocket, I guess. As yeah. those, as yeah. those. I mean, everything's got heavy duty and more capable. Yes. But this is the kind of the bike that. Yeah, because it's just it's got that really lovely kind of. It's lively enough, and you know, and the geometry is tight enough that if you sort of put some light tires on it, you can whiz round some woods yeah. and have a real good time. But if you again, like you know, just put some, you know, put a big front rotor and some heavy duty. Yeah, tires like this on it has. And go yeah. And ride it and go yeah. and ride it in the Alps. And or, you were saying, yeah, you went rode it in the Alps when you were yeah. out for the World Cup or, and stuff. Or down some terrifyingly steep things in here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad. Yeah, if you haven't watched the live ride bit, yeah, we finish on a track I didn't think we were going to finish on, and I haven't cleaned in a long time. And yeah, well, let's just say it was quite exciting. Yeah. I was quite excited <laughs> to stay on a bike for once down it, which says something too. about just how capable. Yeah. And so it's kind of, it's because you were always a rocket man before. Yes. Yeah. You know, not in an Elton John sense. I've never yeah, seen you yeah. in platforms yeah, and my, my, my uh, a lot of glitter. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, my main bikes, is, my main bike is a rocket max. But, um, but I, I don't know. I've been mixing up with all sorts of stuff because I've been riding like a, like a, like a flare max 
with stupid fast tires this year and sorry uh, you know and all of these kind of, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know and stuff so i've been mixing it up the but, perversion uh, is real um, but yeah it's uh it, but yeah this this bike would be but obviously i i get access to a lot of different bikes so yeah this bike but i think it's it's crucial bikes. that you are riding them all and you're trying loads of different bikes and you know yeah. you're still in how long have you been doing this now uh we're 20 this year yeah yeah 20 years of cottic and you're one. still as stoked to be riding in these woods <laughs> as i am we should probably get no we shouldn't ever get a real job <laughs> this is much more fun this is yeah. just betterer yeah better -er. better -er than yeah. building railway wagons or yeah. working in a in a whereas yeah. pushing cat eye out the door <laughs> so uh, and yeah bikes with this kind of life and this kind of charisma really really i the trouble is si we're talking about your bikes it always ends up just me having a bit of a <laughs> bit of a fanboy over them always because i a i just love the bikes and i love the ethos behind them it's just to ride something different that isn't just yet another you know piece of plastic knitwear <laughs> Which are great. You know, they are yes. great. They're super capable, to, in, but often to the point of dullness. Yeah, sometimes. And, and that's not, you know, and those, that, that kind of, you know, that material doesn't do it for me for any, any number of reasons, but not, you know. Not you haven't even talked which, about sustainability, yeah, have exactly. we? And recycling and all those kinds. Of... And the sustainability yeah. and the politically dubious places that some of those things get put together yeah. and all of that kind of stuff. So, yeah. you know, at least this is, um, you know, repairable, durable. Uh, re fully recyclable fully recyclable it's um you know so it's uh you know it is the lowest impact material that you can build a frame yeah out of. and now you do a factory service option as well so yeah if people are a bit short on time you can yeah you know vajazzle their bikes <laughs> go through the bearings <laughs> yeah, and stuff like that we've always done bearing kits and like you know manuals and how-to videos and all of that kind of stuff to kind of help out our customers obviously we're direct to consumer so not everyone lives around the corner from us but we did realize that actually the people who can get their bikes to us, you know, would really like some experience hands on it. So yes, you can now drop your, you know, book your bike in and we'll do a full bearing service. And that will be done by the same guy who probably assembled the frame in yeah. the first place. Um, but um, people can, and also people can come to Cotic HQ for yeah, demo rides yeah, and yeah. you have a very regular demo ride program as well yeah. all around the country and events. Yeah, yeah. Just go to the website, click on demo. You can see there or just give us a ring and you can uh, you can book in, come to the showroom, take the bike out for a ride. Yeah. You can ride from the door. Um, take and if you, and again, that's the place to go really to go for, I mean, I can tell you it's a 64.5 degree head angle, 76.5 <laughs> degree seat angle, yeah. but the real thing that, and, but if you want all that, deep dive for your particular size everything yeah. that's all on the website yeah, as well and stuff full, like that full geometry table. tire size and, uh, just so cover that off two 2.5 in the rear the proper 2.5 yeah, as well isn't it? 2 .5. yeah yeah you can get a 2.5 vigilante in there yeah yeah that's, so that's a big, big tire a yeah tire. um so yeah you can get plenty of uh plenty of tire in there should you so wish um and again full shocks from fox rock shocks cane creek if you want them yeah as well on the forks as well yeah, uh yeah. wheels from hope or from shimano or, or from hunt or from hunt and yeah. you'll even do a service where if people have got like a partial bike and they want to refresh it yeah 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 literally this week guy sent us some uh bar, you know fancy bar stem grips that he wanted on his rocket max and we just put all that together for him as part of his build and that was uh so yeah, super easy. If you've got uh, anything, we can basically do anything from a bare frame to a full bike and anything in between. We assemble every bike to order, so whatever yeah. you want. Bingo. Mm. Right, Sai. Thanks for chatting about the bike, and yeah, thanks for moving the game on. I mean, subtly. I'd say <laughs> subtly, yeah. but significantly. Thanks, mate. It's always a pleasure. Yeah. No, it has been abs absolute pleasure, always, riding a Kotick. And has been for a long time now. It's a while. Oh, part, well, there was that time. There, the was that one, there was that one time. There was that one time, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but you had a perfectly reasonable explanation. The bolts had just come loose. Yeah, they had. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Not my finest hour from a design point of view either. But Well, you know, time, if so. the bolts had been done up, maybe the train station <laughs> would have stayed together. But yeah, you know. we move on. We move on. Yeah, exactly. That's about it, you know. But yeah, yeah. thanks very much. Sai from Kotick. And the brand new uh, Jet 2. So all I've got to really do is thank to my Patreon subscribers who pledge on a monthly basis. They get exclusive early and ad-free edits as a thank you. Uh, so if you like what I'm doing with the channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. 
And massive thanks to my channel sponsors who are uh, Zero Cycling UK, Pete's Products, uh, Talk Nutrition, Enduro Bearings, Heb Troco, and Crud XL Fenders. So, thanks a lot, guys. Hope you've uh, enjoyed listening to Sai. Certainly a nice change from listening to me anyway. Try not to interrupt too often on this one. But, uh, yeah, definitely nice to get some insight from the man behind pretty cracking 20-year run of bikes. Thanks, mate. That only appears to be literally getting stronger. <laughs> Sorry, cheesy. I had to be cheesy at the end. Anyway, cheers for watching. Bye, folks.